Welcome back, guys. I got an engine to show you. This is my glorious V-twin with, now say it with me, two pistons and a complete manifold. Yay! This puppy here includes the most exciting features like a Technic frame so it won't fall apart on you. And it's got a heavy flywheel so the inertia keeps it going. It's got stabilizing supports to keep the whole thing together when it's going at over a thousand RPM. It's got clear siding. Look, you can actually see the piston. It's got a lot of dust because all the coconut oil attracts dust like a magnet. And unlike most V-twins you'll see, it's got the valves on the sides. It also has a cool feature I like to call the snot manifold. This manifold is connected using snot techniques. If you don't know what that is, that means studs not on top. And the way I accomplish this is by putting these little Technic bricks here, and then I put little pins in them. And those pins have little studs, and those studs can connect to the backside of the manifold. And so what I did is I built the manifold, Ta-da! I built it like this so there'd be less gaps. There's a channel that runs straight in there and it comes out right here and you just clip it on and once it's clipped on the valves line up nicely and you can see it goes from here down and into the engine. Now to increase efficiency I took a little bit of liberty and all these little gaps right here from where all the plates connect together, I took hot glue and just went brrp, 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 and that was to help prevent leakage. But if you look up here, you can see all that Technic goodness. We've got L brackets, all designed to help strengthen the internals. As you can see, there's our construction point so that this whole thing doesn't fly apart. These bits right here, along with these frames, I was trying to go for a lighter, cool look. It ended up making it harder. These are all held together with hot glue because when this thing shakes, they very much shake. The valves in here are controlled with these little half width arms. And those are kind of cool because you might see that they're actually a little different. On this side, we have one straight seven long arm right here. And on this side, you can see we have one five and then another five. And you'll be thinking, well, why didn't you just use another seven? Well, here's the thing, I didn't have another seven. But what I did have is two fives. The real reason why I did this, and I think I'm really proud of this, is because they have to be on the same point right here. You can see that? Where the yellow meets the gray. They have to be on separate points, but yet reach the same point over here. So by doing it this way, I've staggered them, and therefore it, this is offset and perfectly timed. I totally planned that when I was making this. I went really overboard for the structural integrity of this build. As you can see, we have this L piece right here, which acts as the catch for when you pull the wheel off, it won't actually pull the rest of the internals out. It's got those little pins right there, and then the L bracket. Usually on a natural little single piston, you'd see just one of these, which is just a three long, but I decided it would look more cool if I used an L, because it's, you know, a V and it looks like a V, or even a check mark. I'm super proud of the way I put this all together. A lot of the times I've seen people use standard Technic bricks, and they just build it up the way. But what I really wanted to accomplish with this, what I was really proud of at least, this is a 90 degree, perfectly 90 degree angle V-twin. You can tell because obviously I'm using 90 degree joints right here. That was accomplished by doing this one really long arm and then straight down the middle, 
straight down the middle, I ran an axle. And because these little L brackets have that hole, I can totally do that. I have it slightly off center so that the center of this is, it's, it's so cool. And then this arm runs all the way up to the top, perfectly centering up to here. So now this entire cylinder bit is self-contained. You're not gonna, it's not gonna explode. It's all mounted down. Then for the sides, I have these bits right here, which match up perfectly so that this still is at a 90 degree angle. We've got the spacers right here, this side. Then on the inside, I was finding that these points right here were kind to dislodge from the bottom. So what I did is I took these four long lift arms and I took them and I put them right here because the distance just seemed to perfectly match. I'm pretty sure there's some Lego Technic formulas for how this works because they're all, it's all right triangle stuff, but it works super well. I did it like this, great. Then I used a five to do the same thing. These, same principle, there to there. If you want to know, it's one plate, one brick to there, and it's a four long lift arm diagonally across one stud. Same straights here and here. And it's really strong. Like you pick this up and you're like, hmm, that's pretty robust. And the goal was to make it robust, so I think I did a really good job there. This piece serves no actual purpose, but it used to. And what that was used for was a slightly bigger manifold. It was a lot wider. It was like out to here. And that was because if you have a tire, it's got little rubbery bits. And the only real way to get rubber in Lego is by using the tire. So I took the slightly smaller wheels that you'd find on a Lego car. Uh, not the super, super tiny ones, but like slightly bigger. And what I did is I put them in between this gap and this here, kind of acting as like a seal. And then I had a little compression, I had bricks on both sides, kind of compressing them inwards because I was doing, I wasn't using the snot technique, I was just building straight up. And that's the thing with these, building a V with standard snot, especially at this distance, it does not like you, it is horrible. It is so bad that on these bits right here, I'm putting it on the middle bits of the brick. Like you see all these, those are, we, you got the tubes, you got all the channels, I'm using the tubes right there as a half distance because this is so weird, I'm using those. And that is the only way this actually fits together. And then it's just bonkers. It works, which is the cool bit. It's so crazy. I love this thing, it's so cool. Anyways though, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. We recently hit 100 subscribers and that is just absolutely crazy to think about. I started this channel like three and a half years, maybe four years ago. I did not think we would get here. I posted this channel mostly as just like a personal collection of my videos. And you guys just, wow, thank you. Thank you so much, every 101 of you at the time of recording, every 101 of you, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing. This means a lot. Thank you so much. And with that, I just wanna say, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.